Flutter customers using Flutter and having Flutter is the world's most popular cross-platform framework. This is evident not just by the numerous prominent companies that develop their apps with Flutter, not just through the latest JetBrains survey involving more than 26,000 developers. Hi, my name is Kevin Moore. At the Google I.O. 2024, many exciting developments about Flutter were announced. In this video, I summarize the key points compactly. AI has become indispensable. Especially for Flutter, AI will play a significant role. The Flutter team introduced the Google AI Dart SDK, which enables developers to integrate AI features like text generation and chatbots enabled in your apps. This SDK allows access to Google's Gemini models, which are among the most powerful language models. It's easy to handle and integrates into a Flutter app with minimal setup. For more information, check out flutter.dev.ai. Game development is becoming more and more popular, and Flutter has a lot to offer here too. The Flutter team has highlighted the integration of the Flame Engine, a two-dimensional game engine designed specifically for Dart and Flutter. Flame provides developers with essential gaming features like a game loop, physics and two-dimensional collision detection. Thanks to the tight integration with Flutter DevTools, game developers can easily debug and optimize their game elements. With resources like the Casual Games Toolkit and tutorials on Dartpad, getting started is a breeze. For more information on game development with Flutter, visit Flutter Dev Games. And Flutter's original rendering engine, Skia, when it sees a complex series of draw operations, actually it compiles a shader to run on the GPU. And this can make the app really fast overall, but it causes apps to skip frames when they first need to draw a complex scene like you see here. Performance is key for a seamless user experience and Flutter has made significant progress in this area. The Flutter team introduced Impeller, a comprehensive overhaul of Flutter's graphics engine significantly boosts graphic performance. The compiler compiles all necessary shaders in advance to maximize performance and minimize lag that occurs with dynamic shader compilation. This new engine enables up to twice as fast SVG and Lottie animations, as well as significantly improved blur effect performance on iOS. Impeller is natively available on iOS and can now also be tested on Android. For more information about Impeller and instructions on how to enable it, visit Flutter Dev Impeller. The new macro feature in Flutter offers even more flexibility in app development. Macros are programs that can create other programs. This function allows developers to automatically generate boilerplate code, speeding up the development process. Macros aim to implement features like JSON, serialization or data classes more easily and quickly without having to manually write all the code. The Flutter team introduces macros as many developers looked for more efficient ways to automate and customize such tasks. Instead of integrating these features directly into the language, which would mean a lot of time and rigid code, macros offer a flexible and quick solution. They are currently experimental and help developers make their Dart and Flutter applications more efficient. For more information and instructions to get started, see dart.dev slash language slash macros. And Google Earth, like these nonlinear, not text-based, deeply interactive experiences. These are web apps, and this is what Flutter Web is for. WebAssembly is revolutionizing the performance of web applications, and Flutter is now fully leveraging this technology. WebAssembly allows code to run on the web at nearly native speed, which is especially beneficial for compute-heavy applications. With WebAssembly support, Flutter applications can now run faster and more efficiently in web browsers. The Flutter team has worked hard to rewrite its code from JavaScript to WebAssembly to achieve these performance improvements. 
An example is the Wanderer's demo, showing that the rendering time of frames in WebAssembly was more than halved compared to JavaScript. This results in less stuttering and a smoother user experience even in demanding applications. This improvement is now available in Flutter 3.22. To find out how you can switch your Flutter web apps to WebAssembly, visit flutter.devwasm. Flutter impressively demonstrates how versatile and powerful a framework can be. With the latest improvements and extensions, the Flutter team is setting new standards in cross-platform app development. With the Google AI Dart SDK and the Gemini API, developers can easily integrate advanced AI features into their apps. The Flame engine provides a robust platform for developing 2D games, specifically tailored to the needs of modern developers. The introduction of the Impeller graphics engine ensures even smoother and faster animations and graphics. Macros enable automatic code generation and simplify complex tasks like JSON serialization and data classes. With WebAssembly, Flutter achieves impressive performance improvements for web applications. These developments make Flutter one of the most flexible and powerful solutions for developers worldwide. Whether you're building applications, games, whether you want to build beautiful user interfaces or develop high-performance web apps, Flutter provides the necessary tools and technologies to bring your visions to life. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and if you want to keep up to date, subscribe to this channel now. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.